controversial release of toxic water from Lake Okeechobee is causing people in the area to protest. Let's go straight out to Chris Emma. He's at Phipps Park in Stewart where people started gathering early this morning. Chris? Yeah, that's right. Good afternoon, Tiffany. It started just after 7 o'clock this morning. That's when these locks, that are, which are open right now, were opened by the U.S. Corps of Army Engineers. Millions of gallons of Lake Okeechobee water now making their way east, a nightmare for many people on the Treasure Coast. What do we want? Clean water! The chance begging for clean water. We need clean water! Angry and frustrated people gathered Monday morning at Phipps Park to protest the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers' decision to open the locks and discharge tainted water from Lake Okeechobee and send it into the St. Lucie River. Well, I started in June because I got a rash all over my body. Poison water! Bill Ryan, a retired school teacher, describing how she says the polluted St. Lucie River water affected her back in 2013. Many on the Treasure Coast believe that the toxic blue-green algae bloom in 2013 was caused by water discharges from Lake O. And now, Save it's happening all over river. again. Save our river! The Army Corps hopes to reduce the water level in Lake O as we head into the rainy season, but also break up existing toxic algae blooms at Port Mayaka. A big problem for those on the Treasure Coast, that water heads east in their water. And we're making little steps, but it's not big enough. You know, we can't wait four years for, the, for this to be fixed or 20 years. We have to do it now. Now, the U.S. engineers say that Lake Okeechobee currently right now is just below 14 feet for that level. They like to have it at a comfortable level of 12 and a half feet. That's why they say they have to release this water right now. Folks here on the Treasure Coast are hoping that it does not happen again what happened in 2013. Reporting live in Stewart, I'm Chris Emma, WPBF 25 News. Back to you. All right, Chris.